What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend Galactus here with the guide to how to become a laser shooting super villain in the Liberty Falls map of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 Zombies. This is actually a very neat power up which lasts more than a round and any zombie that comes into your way gets totally annihilated as you can see on my screen like this is really high rounds doing the easter egg and everyone is just dying in front of me. So this also unlocks the world domination trophy for you and now I'm going to show you how to unlock it. The first thing we need for this is to go and get the jet gun. The best strategy to unlock the jet gun is to come over here right at the start of the game and the zombies will rush you from this door and you need to get this door open to craft the jet gun there as well and then get rid of these zombies because that will that way you can get some extra essence right at the start of the game. The zombies are a tad bit aggressive so watch out for that but rest it should not be too much trouble for you. And once you have accumulated some points come all the way over here follow the route I am showing you on the screen and get the water valve. The water valve is what we need to get the water pressure gauge. Once you have that go back all the way to the spawn in the on the way if you want you can pick up a bonus points if you are short on some points because we will need to open the way to the bowling alley. There you see there's a bonus points right over the vent there. Just shoot it and it will drop out. Pick it up and then backtrack your way all the way back to the spawn. Once you are there open the gate near the vending machine where we climb the stairs and then enter the bowling alley and then we have to attack this panel. Then press square on it once to install the water valve and then we have to press square to start building the water pressure. This is gonna take a while and a lot of zombies are going to spawn in this area. So just watch out for that. Just keep running around shooting zombies and interacting with the panel whenever you get the chance. Once you get to the end of the round, it's quite easy because it gives you a few seconds. This takes around 30 seconds or something. Once that's done, it will drop the water pressure gauge which you can now pick up. And now we can unlock the way all the way to the church and interact with this panel which will trigger some dialogues. And by once this guy says that I have passed into your communications, that is when we have to go out and make our way towards the graveyard because that is where we are going to find the groundskeeper zombie. There you go. He just said that he's tapped into our signal. So this means it's time to move on from this area and go to the graveyard. So come this way and this is where we are going to spend uh, the next couple of rounds till the groundskeeper zombie spawns. The groundskeeper zombie is a bit elusive. He only spawns when all the other zombies have spawned. There you see I just got him down and he's the only zombie that once you're thinning the herd he runs away. There's another shot of him. He is an old man in dungri and a hat and when you aim at him it will say groundskeeper. So kill him, make sure to kill him because if you kill the other zombies, he will just run away and then you'll have to do it all over again to make him spawn. Get the tool shed key from his grave, from his dead body, I mean, he's already out of his grave right now. And then run all the way over here to get to the wooden shed from where we can pick the hand brick. That's our second part of the jet gun assembly. For the third one we actually need to enter this door and for that the best way to get in is to shoot it with a mangler cannon. You can try standing between a mangler and the door or taking the uh, breaking the arm of the mangler by shooting at it and getting the mangler arm that way but it does not always work. So your best strategy is to just simply craft a mangler cannon and then go blow up the door yourself. Once you are done with the, once you have a mangler arm or once you have broken the door with any other, any other means, just get inside this one and start searching these debris by holding square on it. There you see, I get electrical wires in my first try. There are like four or five debris fields in there. Sometimes enemies can also spawn from it or otherwise it will just drop salvage or essence. Once that's done, make your way all the way back to the spawn and get in here. And in this hotel room that we open, we can craft the jet gun. Now that we have the jet gun with us, we can finally start collecting the 9 Athralia figures all around the map to get to the easter egg. For the first one, make your way over to the comic book store and there you see there is a figurine right next to the back exit. The second one is to the left of the statue in the comic book store, right there. You can 
use the jet gun to suck that in the third one is in the window right near the entrance and the final one is up here in the shelves you see on the left of the shelves so that's four now once you got these you just run out here towards the spawn area and once you get here you can see right up there that is your fifth one again use your jet gun to get that in now next to the church on the road going down from the church you can see that there's a statue up there i'll start sucking it in as i am killing these zombies so there you see that's your next one the next one is on a window in the church like outside the church there's a window up top you can see it it's a little bit hard to notice so i am going to put an arrow there for you guys to track it so right in this corner if you aim and shoot with your jet gun you will get it then we head over towards the bowling alley uh, through these stairs uh, but instead of going to the bowling alley we jump through here and we need to get on top of the bus the next statue is on the second l of the liberty lanes that is written out there so there you go we got that in as well now back ahead at the road leading down from the church we actually have to come up here and unlock the zip line to get on the roof once you get on the roof there is another door here right this one that you have to unlock it's going to cost 500 and then now the statue is on the right side between these two ac vents as you can see i zoom that in for you this one is a little bit hard to detect so just aim your jet gun towards the ac vent and that will be it now you are a razor toting super villain in call of duty and this will be your world domination trophy so there you go folks i really hope you enjoyed this video i help you out i went in and try to be as much descriptive as i could so that you guys don't miss it or you're not confused about any of the statue locations or anything so i really hope this helped you out please do remember to hit me with a like and a subscribe and also share this among your friends if you think there was something missing or something else let me know in the comment section and as always wherever you are whatever you are doing please stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games this is your friend galactus and i'll see you with my next one